Good morning, guys. The Chiefs are playing on Monday Night Football tonight, so I'm representing. I am working from home because I am expecting a package from Amazon that's kind of pricey. I had money from my birthday, and I've been saving it until something I really want came along. And I've been wanting one of those, um, you know how they make the Roomba? Well, Shark also makes one, and from looking at reviews and stuff, they're even better. Um, so, Amazon had like, they're starting like all these sales early, you know how they do Black Friday? Well, they're doing all these sales really early. And so, the thing is like, normally, I wanna say $380, like $379.99, and they had it for $250 on Amazon and I have birthday money so I know that might seem weird to get yourself a vacuum for your birthday but it's the kind that's um, you know like a little robot and you can actually hook it up to the Amazon Alexa and so and on an app and so I can make it vacuum anytime I want even if I'm not at home so I just hear those sirens um, so I've just wanted one of those, and so I ordered it. Well, it's supposed to get delivered tomorrow, Monday, so since it's $250, you know, that's a lot of money, and so I wanna be home when it gets delivered. I've never had anything stolen off my doorstep, but you just never know, you know, it's getting closer to the holidays and stuff, so. But anyway, Monday Night Football with the Chiefs. Of course, I'm rooting for the Chiefs. And, um, yeah, anyway, that's it for now, and I will talk to you again soon. Both teams are playing really, really well. They're tied right now. Ugh, I have to flip to something else while the game is on because it makes me so nervous. I have to flip back and forth, which it's probably a good thing. My husband goes and watches it with buddies because he, of course, watches the whole thing but I have to flip back and forth. But yeah, they're both playing really well right now. And my new shark arrived. It didn't, I didn't even have to work from home today because this thing did not even arrive until 8.30 p.m. <laughs> but it's charging now, so I'll try it out tomorrow. He's not too sure about the shark. He's not afraid of it, but he's eyeballing it very warily. <laughs> Hey guys, today's Tuesday and I'm working from home. I had not intended to work from home, but the Chiefs game got over so late last night and they lost, but it was an awesome game. 54 to 51. It was the highest scoring Monday night football game. It, it broke, both teams broke records. It was really a cool game, but then after it was over, I had the hardest time falling asleep. I don't think I got to sleep until it was pushing one o'clock in the morning and I normally get up at 4.45 and I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so I'm working from home today. Um, I'm letting the shark vacuum do its thing out there. Um, I've been watching it a little bit. So far, it seems like it's doing a really good job. So I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm sitting in um, my son's room working and I'm still in my pajamas. But um, later I'm gonna get dressed and everything because my husband and I are gonna go to the grocery store this evening to do our shopping for Thanksgiving dinner. So anyway, that is the update for now. Okay, so I heard a tone like a dee 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 dee, <laughs> and I want to see if it docked itself, and it did. All right, I was concerned it might not be able to find its dock, 
and it did it found it awesome so first time running it I'm gonna empty the du the dust cup later I'm gonna let it charge first I don't want to mess with it while it's charging good job shark and he actually got comfortable with it. He sniffed it a couple of times. He didn't like it when it came straight at him. <laughs> okay, fine. Hello there. It is three o'clock now and I am off work and I'm just waiting for my husband to get home so we can go to the grocery store and <laughs> I'm working from home again tomorrow. I had already planned on doing that. I had been planning on doing that for, well, since the beginning of the year, honestly, because they always let us off early, like on Thanksgiving Eve and Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve and days like that. So I was gonna work from home anyway, so then I can start Maybe doing a little bit of prepping for Thanksgiving dinner, clean up the house a bit. Um, my normal stuff, you know, normally on Wednesdays I dust and vacuum, so. Um, although now that I have the robot, the shark robot, she helps with vacuuming, so I won't have to do as much. And it's the dog. Sometimes when he scratches his ears, he makes these funny noises. I've got my Under Armour. It was really funny because earlier today, the doorbell rang and I went in to answer the door and there is a, a guy standing there. He's, he's in complete head to toe army fatigues. And I'm wearing my hat and he goes, oh, I'm not even gonna ask you. And I, and I just looked at him, I said, my son's in the Air Force. And he goes, Daniel? And I said, yeah. So I think he was a recruiter, like an army recruiter, because he checked into a few different branches of service before he joined the Air Force. And so there's been a couple of phone calls and stuff, you know, and so we always tell him, well, he's, a, he's chosen his branch in the military. So but he's really nice, but I thought that was kind of funny. It's like the day he comes to the house is the day I've got on my U.S. Air Force mom hat. And now the dog's asking to go outside. He's really getting on my nerves because he keeps getting into the mud spots of the yard. So every time he comes in, it's like I got to mop a section of the floor, you know, the first part where he comes in and clean his feet. And it's just, it's getting really annoying. We tried those little doggy boots before, but he doesn't like them and I'm not going to subject him to those. So we did try. But anyway, that's the update for now and I will talk to you again soon. We just got back from grocery shopping. Oh, that's my, that's my turmeric and curcumin. Um, got rice and just stuff to cook shallots We're all ready for Thanksgiving this is just some of the stuff there's also stuff in the fridge like uh, the chicken and some herbs and asparagus and stuff and then we picked up just a couple of dessert things this year we're not gonna go crazy but these are cinnamon cream cheesecake bites and then Got these for the oldest because they love cookies see I won't eat these and this is what my husband picked out chocolate drizzled peanut brittle and so these are the things that'll be dangerous for me but we'll have company so I think we should be fine or I should be fine <laughs> and then my husband brought home some samples that he finished um, to see what like stain what I wanted to go with for the cabinetry in the bathroom and these are all double-sided so there's like like this one's darker on that side but I think I'm gonna go with this I like this a lot but he just he this was even darker here but I didn't like this one at all it's too close to what we already have but so yeah and that's the dog wanting to come in 
so demanding. I think it was cold out there or something. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to put in a new garbage disposer or disposal or whatever you call them because I'm glad it went out today or whenever it went out and not on Thanksgiving, but yeah. So in this tub right here, I keep all of my dust rags and like glass cleaning rags and all that kind of stuff and the garbage disposal is right there. I went to get a dust rag today and every single one of them was saturated and this thing was full of water to probably like maybe two inches from the top. And so it's a good thing that these were here because they sucked up all the water because if you run any water in the sink, it all comes straight out of the bottom and straight into that. So the lucky thing is, is that that was there and it caught all the water and so there was no damage or anything but yeah gotta get a new garbage disposal but could have been worse you know so my husband's gonna be installing that tomorrow and now I'm back in pajamas he whoops where's the hand go he went to get us some Sonic for dinner um, we're still within our calories though because we're just getting burgers but we didn't want it's like, it's, it's already 7.30, it's way past when we normally eat, but after going to the grocery store and then going through the samples of the furniture and just, you know, the cabinetry for the bathroom, just everything, we just didn't feel like cooking anything, so, so yeah. So now I'm just waiting for my burger. But I'll talk to you again soon, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I know I look a mess. I don't care. Um, <laughs> I just worked all day and then um, I went to Target really quickly to get, you guessed it, toilet paper. But I found one other thing while I was there that I'll show you. And um, I ran over to Kohl's also because I wanted to get a couple of new rugs for the kitchen. because so I've had the same rugs for so long and they've been washed and everything and they're like all fuzzy now you know because they're just so old so I wanted to replace them so I'll show you those two and I'll show you the new garbage disposal not that that's um, exciting it looks a lot like the old one <laughs> um, so yeah and then I've just been doing some house cleaning and stuff and uh, I did a lot of that yesterday so I didn't have too much to do today but anyway, right now it's not quite four. It's almost four, so I'll show you stuff. <laughs> That's what I picked up at Target. It was over in the dollar spot. It was $3, and I just thought it was so cute. Yeah, I know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Friday I'm going to start putting my Christmas stuff up, but, you know, for only three bucks, and I'll put it up again next year. It's the new rug. Um, trying to get it to fold down or press down where the fold is but I got one for by the back doors and then I got one for in front of the sink it's the same thing I'm just needing it to kind of fold down or not fold down where it was folded I need that to flatten down but I really like these yeah, and there's underneath my sink isn't that exciting new garbage disposal we've got the date on it so uh, my husband can remember or won't have to remember when he put it in and the blue tape is because I thought a label would last longer he thought blue tape would be fine so we're kind of testing it that's the only reason that's there but this is the bucket that saved us because I got all of my dust rags and everything washed because this is where I keep the glass cleaner the like pledge multi-surface you can use this on everything and the floor cleaner and so these are all my dust cloths yeah I know I have too many and then these these are all cloths that are by 
auric, and they only take water. Um, except the dust one doesn't need water. But there's like stainless steel, all different ones. I honestly don't use those as much as I thought I would. I keep forgetting I have them. Have them, so. So yeah. That's the underneath of the sink. And earlier I think I had a really super quick clip of her, yes I call her a her, um, docking herself. My husband asked me why do I call her a her and I says well at least in our family it's the female, me, that does all the housework. So for our house, to me, she's doing the vacuuming so she's a she because she's like me. Oh, and one last thing, all of the um, spackling or whatever is done now, and so all this has to get sanded, you know, because it, it's rough, so all that gets sanded, and then I can start painting and stuff. I'm so ready for this damn bathroom to be done. Yeah, those no, don't have any of the covers because we're just going to take that down. So, yeah. I hate this bathroom so much. <laughs> I just want to be done with it. I just want to be done. And yeah, I know. If I want it to be done, I'm sure my husband for sure wants it to be done. Got another Under Armour <laughs> sweatshirt. I think I had the navy one on yesterday. Um, cause yeah, cause like I said, he's doing the vast majority of the work. We still got to pull the floor up. It's just. Bleh. He's working on the furniture, or the cabinetry. I keep calling it furniture because he's building it. And I guess it is furniture, it's just built in. And so he's working on getting it stained and everything today. And he's distressing it. It's gonna be like distressed. So I'm gonna sit down for a little bit, watch Judge Judy, and then I think I'm gonna read over the recipes and stuff for what I'm making for dinner tomorrow. My husband's gonna help me with that too. And uh, just kind of take it easy for a while and just make sure I got everything together and then I think I'm gonna take a bubble bath I want to relax a little bit so but anyway that's the update for now that throw was on yes I'm talking about you it was on the back of the ch oh crap I want to give him a bath that was the other thing I was gonna do um, anyway, that throw was on the back of the chair, and he pulled it down and has decided to lay on it. He's so sweet. I am done for the day. I've had my bath, have had dinner. See that right there, though? That's the kitchen table with all my husband's crap on it. The whole kitchen is clean except that, so he'll need to clean that up. But the reason I have it pointed here is because, I don't know, I just thought those two things looked really pretty, like lined up with each other. The decor there. And so, yeah, that's too many toys that Nathan has. So it's Thursday morning, it's Thanksgiving, and the first thing we're doing is we're getting ready to roast a head of garlic so we can have some roasted garlic cloves for our rice for later. Hey guys, so the garlic is done and it's been cooling for a little bit so I'm gonna look at it and hopefully it roasted good. <laughs> I might show it to you. I'll probably show it to you, but let's see. Yep, it roasted perfectly. Okay, so you probably, well, in case you don't know how to roast garlic, you basically take a whole bulb and then you peel off the outer skin. You leave the cloves on the inside with their little skins, but you peel the outside. Then um, put it on its side like this and then, let me see, can you see how the tips of that has been cut off? So you just cut like right there you just kind of slice the top off after you peel the skins off. See how the skins are still on the cloves? Then you take a um, tablespoon or two of olive oil and kind of rub it all over the top. Wrap it in tin foil and put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 
35 to 40 minutes. Um, this was 35 minutes because my oven runs a little bit hot. And so then later, when I make the garlic rice, it calls for a few cloves of roasted garlic. And then these just pop right out. See how the skins, I don't know if you can see, but the skins kind of come off a little bit along the sides. Those will, you can either pull them out with a fork or your fingers, or um, if you push from the bottom, sometimes they'll just pop up. So the roasted garlic is ready for later. I'll just need to like crush it with a fork and then chop it up. But this is what we're having. I figured in case you're interested in the recipes, you could do a screenshot, like pause it and screenshot it. Let's see, this is chicken piccata. And we're actually, instead of four servings, we're making closer to six. There's the ingredients, and then the instructions. So like I said, you could just screenshot if you're interested. And then we're having garlic rice. I'm actually using my rice cooker to make the basmati rice. And instead of using the water in the rice cooker, I'm going to use the chicken broth because the rice cooker cooks rice perfect and then it also keeps it warm so we can have it ready to go. Could you wait a minute, dog? He doesn't even have to go to the bathroom. He keeps going out and just messing with the neighbor dogs. So that's that. And then this is the last thing that I'm making out of a cookbook. And then, like I said, you can just pause and screenshot if you want, if you're interested. I like how this also has the calories and everything. And then I'm also making asparagus with onion, but literally that's just slicing asparagus into like one inch pieces at an angle, cooking in olive oil, adding some onion. And you can add potato to that too, but you would brown the potatoes first. This is the cookbook Let me see the, that I'm using. We're not doing a Mediterranean diet, you know, per se. It's just that this has really good heart-healthy recipes. I'm going to have all my little serving trays out. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. Maybe all of them. Um, this one I'm putting cranberry sauce on because, to me, Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving without good old cranberry sauce. And I know you can make your own. But there's just something about the one that comes out of the can. I love this stuff. So we're going to have cranberry sauce. And then i um, got some olives and some pepperoncinis or pepperoncini, however you say that, and some pickles. And then we also have some um, fruit, some grapes and stuff. So that's what we're gonna have for like you know just little finger foods and then I have store-bought bread um, sweet Hawaiian rolls my oldest loves these things and then we got these which the wheat they also came in white but we got the wheat ones and I don't know how to pronounce that but we got these so we got the bread. I don't know. We don't have a fireplace. I would love to have a fireplace, but Netflix has this. It's called Fireplace at Home. They have this version. They have a version that plays holiday music, and then they have a version that it says it's like the Birch edition, and I think it also plays holiday music, but this just plays like the crackling fire. I just think it's really peaceful, and since we don't have an actual fireplace that's that'll work right or at least it works for me and that's what matters and I guess for now it's like 1130 so we don't need to start on dinner yet because um, we're gonna have dinner around 3 so I think I don't know what I'm gonna do sit down maybe relax for a little while <laughs> my husband went to um, go get some, he and I haven't been drinking soda, soda pop, 
what I actually call it pop here, but I know people call it different things. Um, but he went to get some because we don't have any in the house and that's what my mother-in-law and her boyfriend drink. I also have, we have tea also, but so he went to get something for drinking <laughs> and, uh, but then he'll be home and I'll see if maybe he wants to play a board game or something, just something to pass the time. But anyway, that's the update for now and I'll try to remember to do a few clips when we're cooking and stuff. Um, just in case you're interested, I'll tell you, I really miss when I was a kid, like Thanksgiving and all the family and everything, because I have a big family. I'm the oldest of seven kids, and we've gone down there a couple of times, and so then I get to see my mom and my dad and all my brothers and sisters and um, their kids and everything, and it's just, it's really nice. And the only thing I don't like about it is our dog. <laughs> he's kind of, he's more of a loner. He doesn't like being around other dogs and he makes it kind of difficult. So, but yeah, but I also enjoy our little smaller gathering as well, but I do miss my, my immediate family. So, but anyway, that's the update for now. Okay, I wanted to show you guys. My husband got home from Walmart and he brought me this shirt I love this shirt so much. It's so me. It's like um, really super soft fleece. It's only $10 at Walmart, guys. I love seeing this table clear. I wish it could stay clear, but my husband uses this as his office. So <laughs> when one of the kids finally does move out permanently, we will have an office. But until then, I guess I have to deal with a crappy looking table, <laughs> except for holidays and special occasions. Hey guys, I did not show any of the dinner prep and that's because we had company here and I felt too weird. Um, they were sitting at the kitchen table, like my husband and his mom and her boyfriend were sitting at the kitchen table and I was doing like a bunch of prep and getting the rice ready and chopping everything up and stuff. So everybody was talking and um, I don't know, I just felt really weird. And you know, it's it's cooking dinner, so I did kind of want to share a little bit, but I'm glad I at least shared the recipes. And I wanted to tell you, everything turned out really good. The only thing we changed was on the rice. It called, The amount of um, Parmesan cheese that it called for, we used more and um because it just needed a little bit more but i really liked the rice the chicken was great and the potatoes were awesome um i love rosemary and it was just really good on there the asparagus turned out good it was really kind of cool because my mother-in-law didn't think she liked asparagus but she's never had it fresh and so she found out that she actually likes it so that was pretty cool and then uh so they just left, and it's about 10 after 8. My husband went up to Quick Trip. He's going to get us each like a little cappuccino. We're thinking about going up to Walmart. They've been doing their Black Friday or their early Black Friday sales since 6 o'clock. But there's really nothing that we want or need. It's just sometimes kind of fun to go up there and just, you know, see what's up. And it's just literally right down the street. So we might do that. We haven't decided yet. And then we don't have any plans for going out on Black Friday. We thought about going to Menards because they have a lot of stuff on sale and some cool stuff. But again, nothing we need. And I'm going to put up my Christmas tree tomorrow, though. That's my plan. So I just... And he's going to actually work more on the bathroom. He's... uh. He's been working so much on the cabinetry and everything. Um, I'll be glad when he gets it done for his sake, just because it's taken so long. But he decided to do like a distressed finish. And you know, that takes a lot of time because they, because he does this whole finishing process. And then he's like hitting the wood with keys and different tools and stuff, you know, and kind of roughing it up and distressing it. And then there's another finishing technique. There's like a lot of steps. And so if he would have just painted it or stained it, um, 
but you know, I don't want to say, he kind of complains sometimes about it, and I don't blame him one bit because it's a ton of work, but he decided on doing this finish. I didn't ask for it, so I sometimes want to say, well, if you'd have just stained it one color or just painted it, but, you know, I think that would just probably <laughs> start an argument, but... So anyway, it's been a really nice day, um, and kitchen's all clean and everything, and we don't have any leftovers, and I'm so happy for that. Well, I shouldn't say any, because we do have a little bit of cranberry sauce, and we have like some of the pickles and stuff, but like the main food, there's no leftovers, and that's exactly what I wanted, because we're doing the healthy eating thing, so... So yeah, so now I'm just waiting for him to get back, and then, like I said, we might go to Walmart. We might just decide to go ahead and get in our PJs and veg out for the rest of the night, but we'll see. But I hope all of you guys that celebrated Thanksgiving had a really nice day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Friday morning at 8.36. I have the day off today. Um, my husband actually, um, he left at the same time I did and he's headed back down to his buddies to work some more on the kitchen cabinetry. Normally on Fridays, if he, on Black Friday, which is what today is, which in America is the day everybody loses their mind for shopping, um, the day after Thanksgiving they have like crazy sales and stuff and when the kids were really little, we would get up early and like wait in line to get in stores because they'd have really super awesome deals on toys, um, like Lego and just all kinds of stuff like that. Well, when the kids got older and we didn't need toys or, you know, any of that, we just, what we do, except this year now, since he's not with me, is we would just get up when we get up and we would go to the stores and just look around and sometimes we have something in mind we want to get you're gonna laugh when you see what um, when I tell you what I'm after right now um, and if we don't get anything we don't get anything and we also don't we don't wait in the lines get up the crack of dawn all that like this morning we were watching the news and there's a store called Nebraska Furniture Mart and they had those really nice KitchenAid mixers for $97 they only had 25 of them. There's a limit of one. The store opened at eight and the news was there and they showed the people coming through the doors and people were like pushing each other. And there was like a lady like down on her knees. You saw her come crawling out, pushing a mixer. These people going, cause that was 75% um, off. So people, you know, they're looking for them for Christmas presents and whatever. And they have a limit of one, which that's something that some of the stores didn't used to do and then you'd get people that suck up all the stuff or whatever but we don't want to get into that and it's like yesterday when I said we were gonna we were thinking about going to Walmart we did go to Walmart and but think about it I'll try to remember to show you what I got I just got two things I got a pair of pajamas and I got some um, cuddle duds they're like a you know like a base layer like when I was a kid they always just had long johns you know like the waffle weave they're like for in the cold, you just wear them under your clothes to help add an extra layer of warmth. I got a set of those. Um, that's that Cuddle Duds brand, which is a really good brand. And so that's all I got. But Walmart, at least the one by my house, even though they had opened, what time did they open? They opened like, they open on Thanksgiving, which I know a lot of people hate that because they think that the workers shouldn't have to work on Thanksgiving and where my son has a friend that works there and some of them like it you know and some companies some places um, they get paid double time because they're working on a holiday so but anyway that's you know I'm not going to get into all of that but um, we went up there it was like 8 30 and they still had a ton of everything they had Dyson vacuums on sale they had a bunch of different TVs, USB cables, um, like big Sharpie ki uh, like cases full of Sharpies. I got one of those a couple of years ago. Um, 
the toys, even like Hatchimals, you know, remember last year you couldn't find those things anywhere. Um, all that, they still had it. And the store was really crowded, but they had all the lines open. And so, you know, we still, we were able to look around, pick up a couple things. My husband got um, some jumper cables for to the boys to put in their cars. I mean, you know, just, and it was just nice. And so, but today I'm going to Menards. It's so funny because my, my husband, he, like when I talk about it, he goes down to watch the fights or he plays pool on Wednesdays um, watching the Chiefs games the buddy's house he's going to well it's always his his buddy and then he's got a cousin and some just friends well one of the guys is like really into Bigfoot and you know likes to watch the like Bigfoot shows and all that stuff and Menards has a Sasquatch <laughs> you know the Jack Lynx commercials with the Sasquatch they have a mug that is the Sas Sasquatch and it's got beef jerky in it well he'd like to buy that for John and so I told him and then there's also like some kind of a thing you put in the USB port on your TV and you can stream from like your phone or your iPad or whatever to the through the TV and they have one of those for like ten dollars and he wants one of those um so since he's off working on the furniture for the or the cabinetry for the bathroom i'm just gonna see if they have these um and in menard's ad they have a whole bunch of different like gift sets and stuff so it's 8 42 the store opened at six so they might not have the stuff but they might you know i just decided that I'm just gonna come look and it's crowded there's not like lines or anything but it's crowded there's a lot of cars here so I have to park a ways away and it's sprinkling a little bit and I didn't wear a coat but um, it's 50 right now and so it's not real cold and I have on this thick sweatshirt and I have a shirt on underneath it and yesterday when we went to Walmart it was so damn hot in that store I was like, and I had a coat on, and I was really uncomfortable, so I, uh, wow, am I going to be able to find a spot to park? This is fun. It's fun when you don't need anything, you know, because then there's no pressure. But anyway, I just wanted to, I just took the chance to not wear a coat because I don't want to be dying of heat exhaustion. But man, maybe I'm not going to be coming here because I don't know where in the heck I'm going to park. That's the loading area. And then, um, boy, this person's got a bunch of stuff. I, uh, I wasn't going to weigh myself, you know, because with yesterday being Thanksgiving. But I did, because I normally weigh myself on Friday mornings. And I did go ahead and weigh myself this morning. And I still lost. I lost 0.2 of a pound. So I didn't lose hardly anything, but I didn't gain. So I still did really good. And I even had a piece of pumpkin pie yesterday. And here's a spot. And um, a brownie. That's what I had for dessert. And then I had the dinner that I showed you guys. So. I did good, even for Thanksgiving. So now I'm gonna go brave the store. I'm gonna get an umbrella too. I'm not scared to like get my clothes or my hair wet. What drives me nuts is getting my glasses wet. So, all right, wish me luck. Hey guys, I'm done at Menards. I pretty much lucked out. Um, I was not able to get the Sasquatch mug. I'm trying to, I was planning on showing you what I got and I still am, I'm just not gonna do it from my car because this place is still crazy packed and I don't wanna, you know, sit in the parking spot because I actually ended up getting a really good spot and so now I'm gonna pop over to Hobby Lobby. It's just right across the way because 
I don't know if they're doing like Black Friday sales or anything, but I wanted to try to find some like long Christmas picks because I have a vase in the living room and I have like flowers in it and I think it'll be kind of cool to put, to like switch it out for different seasons. And it's just got a small little like opening so I can't fit a ton of stuff into it. But I was, I thought I would either try to find a Christmas like display like flowers, like you know poinsettias or something, or some picks or something because I still do have a goal to put my Christmas tree up today. What time is it now? It's 9.24. But, oh my goodness, that place. When I went in there, first I thought, oh gosh, maybe I should just leave. Because when I first walked in, the line was absolutely crazy. I mean, it was wrapped all around. And I thought, well, let me walk around. Because my husband really wanted that like little USB thing, and I did get it. I also got two things that he um, saw in the ad and he's like, oh, I could really use those. They had those and I got um, two things for myself and I will show you. I'm just going to do, because I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and then I might go over to Target. I actually have a pickup order at Target because I ordered, um, they kind of made me a little bit mad because, okay, let me finish my, my Menards. I'm like all over the place. Anyway, that line was crazy. So then I walked around for a while, you know, saw what I saw, found what my husband wanted and all that stuff. And then I thought, okay, well, let me go find a line. Well, I heard one of the workers, this lady, at this lady asked, well, where's the line? And he goes, well, if you go over there, he goes, it's really long. But if you go all the way to the other side of the store, he goes, the lines are a lot shorter over there. And I heard him say that, so I went over there. He was totally right. I, I didn't have to wait much at all. And um, because it, it, like the couple, of, there was three people in front of me and they all had like big things. So they had like those pallet things. I didn't have a cart. I'm sitting there holding, what did I have? One, two, three, four. I had like six things and I'm holding them. And in, the other thing, I'm so glad I didn't wear a coat. It was hot in there. I just knew that was gonna happen. Um, so I actually feel really good now just with no coat, but um, so yeah, I, I didn't get the Sasquatch mug, but that's not a big deal. The the thing my husband wanted most, I did find. And then, but so back to Target. So yesterday, they, the day before yesterday actually, they had sent an email where if you're a Target red card holder, they had like early Black Friday deals. And so I ended up getting my husband a new Norelco razor doing that. And I went up there and picked it up. Um, because I got it on Wednesday and it's not supposed to, and it didn't go on sale till today but I got it because of being a red card holder kind of thing and so yesterday I got another email and they said you know with more deals you could get and so I ordered they had these sweaters for ten dollars so I ordered two sweaters a pair of pants and if you've watched my vlogs you saw we have that game called Pling Pong where you like bounce the ping pong balls and you put them in cups and it's really fun and it's a fun family game and everything. Well they have connect four like that where it's like you bounce it and you try to do connect four. But it's like one of those $25 games and they had it for $10, $9.99. So I ordered that and I did it you know to pick up at the store. Then I get an email saying we're sorry uh, the two sweaters aren't available but have them shipped for free. So I was like all right whatever. And so one of them did let me do the ship for free, but the other one didn't. It's like you have to find another store. It's like it couldn't ship it, and my store didn't have it. And then the closest store was like not somewhere I wanted to drive to, so it was just like forget it. But the pants I got, I ordered, that was the sweater that was supposed to go with the pants, because they're like a little camouflage print. They're like jeans, but they're a camouflage print. And the sweater was like an olive colored sweater. So I'm sure I'll probably be able to find another olive colored sweater. But so anyway, I'm gonna go into Hobby Lobby and see if I can find some flowers. And their parking lot's pretty crowded too, so they must have at least some sales going on. I'm gonna take in my umbrella this time. This um, sweatshirt has like a front pocket, so I just took my glasses off and put them in the front pocket. 
for the, because it's just misting, you know, that annoying stuff. So I'm just going to do that again. But anyway, I'll talk to you again. I'm thinking about experimenting. These are actually to go around candles, but I think it would go around the top of that vase and make it more like Christmassy. That's not really, a, that's kind of a normal sale. And then I got that picked out so far, but I'm not sure that's what I'm going to get. But it's kind of loud in this store, so I don't know how much I'm going to record. I think these mugs are so cute. I have tons of money. I would just totally decorate every room in my house, but I don't. Hey guys, it is now noon, 12.03, and I'm going home. <sighs> I feel like I've done enough looking around and stuff, and I really do want to get my Christmas tree put up. And I'm hoping my oldest is up, so maybe I can get a little bit of help getting it down out of the attic. Our tree is not very heavy because I downsized to like a tall skinny tree so it's not like super heavy so if he's not up I still can get it down it's really windy out today I still can get it down I just you know for safety's sake since I'm getting up in the attic I always just kind of like to have somebody around you know in case I fall or something but I, while I was at Target, they had, you know, just like those shatterproof ornaments that you can get like in a box. Um, I picked some of those up. I'll show, I'll show you guys my haul when I get home. Because, um, I have a bunch of glass ornaments and they're like in different totes. And then also the kids, my mother-in-law, I think she's not gonna, I think she's gonna stop this year, not buy any more. But she, ever since they were really little, has bought them a glass ornament every year. Um, and so they both have their own boxes with ornaments in them. And they're full. You know, they don't need any more. And the intention is when they move out, I'm going to give them their ornaments. And last year I didn't end up putting them on the tree because it's always been kind of a tradition for the kids to put their own ornaments on the tree, you know, and then, you know, they're getting their little memories and stuff when they're getting them out of the boxes and stuff. Well, last year, of course, Daniel wasn't home when I put the tree up because he's in the Air Force and my oldest um, was like sleeping or something. I don't remember. Whatever some reason they didn't really feel like putting their ornaments on the tree so I didn't put the glass ornaments of theirs on the tree at all last year and so I just figured because I don't know you know again this year when I'm putting the tree up Daniel won't be here and so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and retire the glass ornaments from the kids from my tree and then they can have them when they have their own trees or when they move out or whatever and and then I like I said I've got a bunch of other ornaments and stuff and I end up having to take a bunch of totes down and I really need to go through all of my stuff both my Halloween and my Christmas stuff because I have things I don't use anymore because I'll end up you know finding things I like better or I'll s simplify things and so that's what I've decided I'm gonna do this year instead of going with a whole ton of different kinds of ornaments and beads and garlands and icicles and you know just all kinds of stuff I'm I just while I was at Target I picked up some boxes of ornaments because I had them on Black Friday sale that are just red gold and green and I'll sh like I said I'll show them to you and they're a little bit muted like muted red gold and green and in our tree is multicolor and um, and I also picked up some red, gold, and green garland. And that's all I'm putting on it. I'm just gonna put the these ornaments and the garland and the tree skirt and the topper, light the tree and be done with it. I think it's still gonna be really pretty, really Christmassy, and 
it'll make it easier on me because I do all the decorating myself <laughs> every year and while I love the finished product it's a lot of work you know and so I feel like this is gonna simplify it for me and uh, I've got some other things I want to get down out of the attic that I decorate with and I'll show you as I get this stuff down. I'm probably going to end up wrapping up the vlog after today because I think it's going to end up being long, especially after I show you the Christmas stuff and getting all it ready and everything. And so yeah, that's what I'm going to do when I get home. I'm going to get a drink because as soon as I get home because my throat is like really dry and um, put on some Christmas music and get to work. For a minute I thought, well maybe I'll sit down for a few minutes, but I'm afraid if I sit down <laughs> I won't get back up. So my husband and I stayed up kind of late last night and I really would like to have it done for him when he gets home. So, okay. So I'll shut up now because I still want to show you my haul when I get home and I still want to do the tree when I get home. So I'll talk to you again really soon. Okay. Ignore the messy hair. It is just, it's too windy. Um, let me show you what I got at Walmart last night. This is the Cuddle Duds set that I told you about. It has like these purple and black printed pants and then the purple shirt. And it's like um, the velour, it's a velour base layer. And I got it for when we go to Worlds of Fun, the Winterfest and stuff. Or, and then I could use it anytime, you know, like if we do something in cold weather, if we ever go to a football game or anything. So I got those. That said, it was $10. And then I got a set of pajamas. And they were also $10. This is the top. <laughs> Thought that was really cute. They had a set with owls on it too, but they didn't have my size. And then the pants look like that with the little coffee mugs all different like sizes and styles because I love coffee too so so that's my pajamas these were also ten dollars and that's what I got from Walmart that place is packed again today I didn't go in there I'm just judging from the parking lot okay so then let me show you Menards I got this set for my husband, it was $9.97, I think. It's two of these Stanley, like, um, sort master is what it, they call it. He thought that he could use it for tools and also for his gun cleaning supplies. So I picked this up for him. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it over here for him. And then I also picked up these for him and I think this was $9.97 also it's a set of T handle hex keys and when he saw this in the ad he said that that was a really good deal and he would really like to have these so I picked these up for him and I'm gonna let the dog out because he's over here scratching on the door we're supposed to get snow on Sunday they said they can't really um, tell exactly how much yet because it depends on the track it's going. Okay, and then the last thing for my husband is this wireless HDMI streaming device. He really wanted this, so I got this for him because he has an idea for like when he's in the hot tub and he wants to watch like a football game or whatever sporting event. He could stream it to an extra TV that he puts outside sometimes when he's out there. And so, got that for him. And then for myself, I guess I don't need to add anymore. Oh, here's my receipt. Yeah, the tea things were $9.95. And the, the one bin things were $9.95 and then this HDMI thing was $9.98 and then I picked this up for myself it's got 
it's like a Venus set that it has um, a shower and shave like um, cream and then these razors and there is six of the razors and this was seven seven forty seven I thought that was a pretty good deal so I got that for myself and then the last thing I'm trying to get these sacks out of my way I also got four or actually my husband and I both if he wants some they had this 12 days of cocoa that goes in the Keurig and it has like the flavors are mocha, hazelnut, cinnamon, caramel, Irish cream, white chocolate, vanilla, peppermint, raspberry, gingerbread, creme brulee, and dark chocolate. I thought that sounded really good and this was $7.99. So that was a pretty good price. Spent with tax and everything $49.17 at Menards, which is actually more than I was planning on spending, but you know. It is Black Friday. I have definitely done way more damage on Black Friday before. Then I went to Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you, I'll show you what I end up doing with this stuff. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use it all because uh, of the vase. I'll just have to see. But the greenery I got, all their stuff was 50% off, which is kind of normal for Hobby Lobby. I didn't see anything in there that was like build as like a Black Friday or anything. But I got this like tall, it's really tall. And then, because the vase is pretty tall, and then if I need to, I'll, I can bend it or whatever. But this with the leaves and the pine cones and the berries. So I got that. And then I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use all the other picks I got because the hole on that vase is so small. Anything I can't use, I'll just return. But I just wanted to go ahead and, I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough. But I got this pick also, which kind of complements, well definitely complements the other one to make it fuller. And then this I showed you in the store, I think. It's actually, um, has like the round part in the middle it's supposed to go around a candle but I think I can have it go over the top of the vase to add some make it look more Christmassy but we'll see I have doubts about this but I'm gonna see and then I got um, these two two of these really skinny like kind of frosted Christmas berries and then two poinsettias so and like I said I don't know if it's all gonna fit in that vase some of it I could I, I could clip and then I also have another vase that I could make make like Christmas if I wanted to so I'll let I'll show you guys that too and how it turns out I'm not gonna bother putting all this back in the sack but I need to get it out of my way so I can show you my other stuff. Ow. Oh, that was me knocking over the ornaments because I have them down in the front of me so I can show them to you. And I knocked one of them over. Okay, so then I went to Target. I had a pickup order, so I picked up what I had ordered. And that was, I got, um, just these pair of like little camo jeans. I just thought they were really cute. And they had them for $15, so I hope they fit. I didn't even try them on. But I liked them, so I got them. And then I guess I'll try them on to make sure they fit. And then the other thing I got, because we like to play games, and it's connect four shots. And I like because you can do two players, you know? Because a lot of our games, you need more than two. But, and see how it is in the picture? You like set it up on the table and then you kind of ping pong it in there. And then you get four in a row, just like you do connect four. And I like how it's like in this little, it's all like compact in a little case. So, you see that right there in the corner? 
that's our new hot tub cover. It's huge. It's all along that whole wall in my kitchen. But it's been raining today, and my husband didn't want that to get all wet, and so we brought it in last night. Okay, so then when I was in Target, the stuff I got... I'm going to pull this garland out of the sack just so it's out of my way. Oh, good grief. Why did she give me this giant sack? She gave me this huge sack and it had garland in it and... Wait a minute. I I bought two of these, but I only see one of them. Okay, there's the other one. Woo! It was like stuck up in the garland. So I got ornament hooks. The ornaments came with hooks, but they look really super flimsy. So I got some ornament hooks. And, well, I got something boring. I got some little stay put rug <laughs> things. And then... I got, this is what I kicked over, I got this pack of ornaments, they have these for $10, they're normally only $15, and it's 50 shatterproof ornaments, so you know just your classic Christmas colors and they're just plain um, balls. And then to complement those, because I don't think all of these are going to fit on my tree. To complement those, I got this set. And I'm trying to see if I can cut some glare down. Oh well, I can't. And they're not just plain. They have like designs, which I think you can see. And then they also have some snowflakes. The glare is driving me nuts. It's got to be driving you nuts. See, I feel like though if I turn that off, you definitely won't be able to see. Well, it helps. I'll turn it back on, but it helps a little tiny bit. It's got the snowflakes, and then see how these are different shapes and textures. And then it also has the, like, tall ones. So, I really liked those. And then um, I got like this set that's just got little ones. Kind of, you know how you try to fill in, just in case I need some little fillers. And they're just little circles or little balls also. And then I got some garland. I got two of these. It's just red, green, gold. And they're 12 feet and I think two should be enough for my tree because like I said it's just tall and skinny so I got two of those and that's it that's my haul that's everything I got so now I need to do a little bit of cleaning up because I have stuff all over the place now and I'm trying to decide if I want to do my vase first I think you know what I think I'll go ahead and get the Christmas tree down so I have it down and get the stuff I want out of the attic out so I have all of that then I'll move on to other things but that's my update for now I got some stuff done so far and I have to say I am so happy with how the vase turned out down here is where I put the candle ring and it just it just looks so pretty there I love it I used all the pieces except for the two extra um, poinsettias and I think I'm going to use them in some of my other decorations and the tree is done and you know what this is the first time I've ever done all white lights and this tree is pre-lit with white lights and then um, I usually add colored lights but my oldest son he helped me decorate the tree and we decided we liked just the plain white lights and I'm really super happy with it. And you want to know something funny? That fireplace is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a thing that you tape on the wall. Only a buck. Yes, it's cheesy. Yes, I love it. But I'm still 
finishing up. I want to do something Christmassy over there. I don't know what yet. Um, I got to get back up in the attic, but that's what's done so far. This is a Dollar Tree creation. I just got done with this. All of this is from the Dollar Tree. The These are actually stickers that I put on the Hurricanes, and then it's the battery-powered candles, and then that little guy, the charger, and this was an ornament, and then the poinsettias, and the greenery, and the pine cone were all like one of the picks they had, and I just took it apart. And so this is what I'm gonna have on my coffee table. Just nice and simple. But I think it turned out really good. So I'm real happy with it. So that's what I've got going for the coffee table. And this is a ceramic tree that I've shown before um, that we inherited. It was Brian's grandma's and his mom gave it to me after his grandma passed away. And we've had it ever since my oldest was a little newborn. So we've had this for 23 years and I'm not sure how long she had it before us. But the funny thing is, is these are back now. They're like back in style, which, which I think is so neat. And this one's actually a music box too. And uh, later when the sun starts to go down, I'll show everything to you all lit up. But now I gotta get back up in the attic. And this is what I went ahead and did on that one table that I was trying to decide what to do. Um, I've had that for over 20 years. And then those guys I got at Walmart, I don't even remember when. I think I might have got him last year and him a couple of years ago. The little lights are in the Target dollar spot. They just take AA batteries. And then the little window thing, that's Dollar Tree, one buck. And I'm not ashamed to use a scene setter. I think they're really cool. And then on the back of the door, um, I don't know if you can see that very good. I have a wreath that I made a few years ago. So now back in the attic again, I'm almost done. Here's one of the end tables. I'm keeping it just, you know, kind of clean. It still looks nice and festive. Hey guys, well, I got done, um, except one thing. You hear my brakes? I've been, my car's been in the driveway and like when they get really cold or wet, they'll do that. Not all the time though. Anyway, the last thing I was doing Really nice neighbor. The last thing that I was doing was remember I bought the Santa on the ladder and he climbs the tree and it looks like he's decorating it. He doesn't work. So I'm going to return it and I just wanted to get it. I don't have the I can't find the receipt, but I use cartwheel and I used my target card so they should be able to look it up but the lights work and the music works but he won't climb I did all of the um, troubleshooting that they talked about and nothing worked and so I'm gonna return it and to me that's just a bad sign so even if they had more which they don't I wouldn't even get an, another one. I wouldn't even exchange it for another one. So I'm just going to take it to Target and return it and get it over with. And then, and then I'll be done. The only, the last thing I wanted to do was put one of the shark robot vacuum strips under the tree skirt that tells the, the vacuum where not to go because I don't want it getting up tangled up in the tree skirt and stuff. I don't know that it would, but I have a feeling it would because, you know, the tree skirt's pretty loose and everything. So, so yeah, it's, now it's 3.30. I'm gonna, tomorrow I'm not doing, I'm just doing laundry. I think I'm just gonna hang around the house. But, so, go get this thing returned, which is really annoying. The return line was so long earlier, so I'm hoping, like when I went to get my order pickup, 
the order pickup line was a lot shorter, the return line was really long, so hopefully it's just, it's like shorter now. So, get this thing returned, get home. I, and I want to be home before my husband's home, because I want to be there when he gets home and sees all the Christmas stuff. But we'll see. I probably still will be, because he, he like, works sometimes really late but luckily I did have help decorating the tree um, I didn't have help going up and down the attic or anything um, but I did get what I needed I have so much stuff up there our attic we need to get rid of stuff really bad I, I actually have another Christmas tree mom if you're watching I've been saving it for you um, it's a really super nice tree, and now that you got your SUV, if you come and visit, um, it's it's um, since I downsized and got a skinnier tree. This is it's kind of a fancy tree. You can even make it turn if you want to. But but we've been saving it in case you want it. So I keep forgetting to ask you if you want it, and then if you don't want it, we're probably going to donate it or sell it at a yard sale or something. But. So yeah, I'll quit rambling and get this up to Target so I can get back home and I will talk to you again. Okay, let me give you a little tour. I just decorated the living room. I still have a door thing I want to put on the kitchen door, or the garage door I mean. Um, so, this little section over here. With the Santa window. And this is the tree from this side. And then the vase. And then I just put a little bit of garland along where the TV is. And then I've had those for years, or at it, it's just one piece. And then this is another Dollar Tree find. They have the coolest little signs and stuff there. And then there's these guys. And that's what I ended up doing with the um, extra poinsettias. I put them on my lamps. That's these guys. They're, they're like little acrylic trees that take um, three AA or AAA batteries, three AAA batteries. And then I showed you guys this that I put together this year, all Dollar Tree. And then my ceramic tree and the other poinsettia, the noisy dog. And then we've got our stockings. Oh, and then this garland here, I got this at Target, the Target uh, dollar spot for three dollars, I believe. So, yep, I'm all done. I used to also decorate um, like the kitchen table, but since my husband has to use it for kind of, you know, his office, I don't do that anymore. Someday I will again, but I'm really happy and it's 4.44. <laughs> So I'm actually going to sit down and rest. And I'm also going to wrap this up for the week. I had no problem at all returning that um, Santa Claus thing to Target. They didn't give me any problems at all. I didn't expect them to. So, But anyway, I'm going to make myself something to eat, sit down and rest and enjoy looking at this stuff. And I will talk to you guys again next time.